We go to our primetime news follow-up now. There continues to be tension between the family of a deceased baby and the administrators of the Noel Holmes Hospital in Lucy, Hanover. Now, the hospital has rejected claims the baby was buried without the parents' consent and instead argues the baby remains at a funeral home in the parish since January. However, as you'll hear in this report, what the parents saw at the funeral home left them even more enraged. Salvi Perry has been on an eight-month quest to bury her baby, who died two days after she was born in January 2020. She'd been waiting on an autopsy to proceed with funeral arrangements. When we last spoke, Miss Perry complained that she was told by a staff at the Noel Holmes Hospital in Hanover that her baby was already buried. However, in a release this week, the Western Regional Health Authority said that was not the case. The release explained that an autopsy was done in March but efforts to reach the mother had proven futile. The dead baby, it said, was still with the funeral home. That's where the family went this week. That's not my baby. No, that's not my baby. A representative from the funeral home attempted to calm the outraged mother. So this is what the hospital sends to us. Do okay. you understand what I'm saying? Yes, this is the baby. I didn't present a coolie baby. Look at the baby. The father here is bad. And that's a coolie baby I see. Look yeah. at the baby. And you hear enough, mommy. See? I defend the baby. Look at the baby. That's not my baby. baby. I'm not going to kill that baby. The baby here, no. You're not Sit down, darling. All right. So maybe the hospital got your babies mixed up. You got maybe I'll be mixed up and I can't tell me. Yeah, well, you know. No, 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 the hospital, obviously, if this is your show, is not your baby. The hospital, could you close that door for me, please? The hospital obviously got your baby mixed up because the baby is tagged with your name, mm -hmm. right? So that's what we have to go with. Yeah. That's yes. what was sent to us. Yeah. We also followed Miss Perry and her partner to the hospital where they were being asked to sign the forms so the deceased child can be released to their preferred funeral home. However, Miss Perry insists she will not sign the documents because the baby in question is not hers. Anybody who miss a coolie baby, it don't have dialies for the fridge. So please, you go take up for the coolie baby. Can a furry baby. Can a furry baby and that's not my baby. We received a copy of the autopsy dated March 24. It concluded that the cause of death was meconian aspiration syndrome, a condition which makes it difficult for a baby to breathe. According to reports, it's one of the leading causes of death in a newborn. The family wasn't present to identify the body before the autopsy. Neither was anyone present on the day. In the release issued by the Western Regional Health Authority this week, it said the matter was being investigated.